what's up hey how you doing this light is so harsh girl i'm in such a good mood because these lashes my friend just put me on to not sponsored bomb beauty supply so today's wig is from kariya hair in the box it comes with some lashes a comb wig cap the whole nine and let me show you the wig like getting cute today so she's a little loose way moment i think she's gonna look so bomb and this is the inside of her you see where i bleached the knot <laughs> i didn't bleach the entire thing but that's good enough because i'm not changing the part and she is 26 inches so let's get to it i was gonna do the ball cap method but um i decided not to so just my little same little technique that i like to use i'm gonna clip this back like such I didn't go too much into detail on the specs, so it is a 26 inch 13 by 4 lace front wig and she is in the loose deep texture. This lace blended in really good with my skin tone. It wasn't HD lace, but it still blended in fairly well, especially um, once you see, once I cut the excess lace off, you can see that it kind of just blends in seamlessly. Then I'm just going to take my got to be free spray and this is how I'm going to install the wig basically. It's a lot faster and I find that this formula for this spray opposed to the gel, it just dries clearer and it doesn't look so crunchy. You let that set, it's time for the baby hairs. This texture is literally perfect for dramatic baby hair, so of course I'm going to do the most. Um, and it's easier for you to just watch me than me explain because I'm terrible at, ex at explaining and it'll just be better if you watch. <laughs> If you watch any of my other videos, you know that I love to cut my baby hairs with a razor comb. It just gives it a lot more natural look instead of cutting with scissors because the scissors give you like that straight, choppy baby hair look. And I don't really like that. So I would recommend you definitely using a razor comb just like me. And I also use some foams, uh, some setting foam to slick down my baby hairs because it doesn't make it crunchy, it's nice and soft, and it just really like molds it to where you want it to go.
Now that the hardest part of the install is over, get into how this lace is melted, babe. I love it. Just to keep the wavy, wet look in this hair, since it is a loose, deep check texture, I love using setting foam or whatever you guys call this stuff. Um, even when it dries down, it still makes it look as if the hair is wet, and I absolutely love that. So definitely try this method out if you are going to be trying this texture. It's so cute and it's very summertime. After I did that and the hair did dry down, this is what it looked like dry. I was done. So if you did want to try this same style out for a cute little summertime vibe, everything on her is going to be in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next one.